guys, I'm here to do some author tags for you, because I feel like it. Why am I wearing a corset with pineapples on it? I think the real question for you is why aren't you wearing a corset with pineapples on it? Why am I not sitting in my comfy chair? Because this corset is a long corset and it's hard to sit down in. So yeah. It's a weird day, alright? It's a weird day and I feel like doing all the tags. Hopefully it's not completely black on my face, it's really hard to tell. The light's behind me. And natural light is what I have, I'm sorry. Alright, so this first author tag is by Nicole Rogan. And this one is actually the young author tag, but it asks right in here if you're a young author or not, and uh, you'll find out the answer to that in a minute. So I'm gonna use it because there aren't very many author tags out there. It's just the way it goes. Okay, the first question is, what is the name of your book? I have lots of books, so I'm just going to pick one for this particular tag that is a book that is finished but it is not published yet and it is currently called Diary of a Demon. Do you have a pen name? Well, yes, I do have a pen name. That is Julian Greystoke. Julian is not my actual name. My actual name is Emily. I don't like it very much. So I go by Julian Graysoak in a lot of circles and that is also my pen name. Are you a young author? No! Ha! I don't think so anyway. I don't think I qualify anymore. I was, but no, now I'm going to be 30 so I don't think I'm a young author anymore. Is your book published? No, Diary of a Demon is not published. However, haha, <laughs> Phoenix, my first published book. I've written lots of books before, but Phoenix is the first one that I have self-published, and if you are interested, there'll be a link in the doobly-doo where you can get yourself a copy for your Kindle, and you should. But eventually, Diary of a Demon will also be self-published in the same way, so I'll make sure I let you all know about that if I ever get off my butt and finish editing it. What is your book about? Well, Diary of a Demon, which is hard to say over and over again, is about a kid named Anders who's a geeky gamer kid, and his father has promised his soul to the devil, and when Anders turns 17, the bargain goes into effect and Anders becomes a demon. However, he manages to retain a little bit of his humanity, and therefore is trying to free himself from this hellscape that he is trapped in, while not attracting Satan's attention, meeting all kinds of weird friends along the way, fighting demons, learning to become a badass, learning about himself, that that's, yeah. Is anyone in your life an inspiration for any of your characters? Yes, although none of them are direct inspirations. I never go, this person in my life is definitely this person in the book. As far as Diary of a Demon goes, Anders, the main character, is based on me, my brother, and a couple of other nerdy guys that I have grown up with in my life. I always put a little bit of myself into my characters, though. No matter how much I try, my main characters end up with some portion of me. Usually not much, but it's always there. The next question is which character is based off of people in your life, but I already answered that. Do you have any other books? Well, yes I do. As, as a matter of fact, I have this one. It's called Phoenix, and it's about zombies. Actually, it's a coming-of-age story about a girl who happens to also be in a zombie dystopia. I think you will really like it. It might not sound like the most original thing, but really it's all about the characters for me, and I think you will like the characters and they stand out pretty strongly. Also, as you can see, it's a really short read, so if you're looking for something quick and fun and great characters, definitely Phoenix. Do I have any other books? Well, of course I do. And if you're a fan of Dragon Age Inquisition and you want more of that Dragon Age goodness, I recently finished a novel called The New Ways of Old Gods, which is my version of what happens after Dragon Age Inquisition is over. It was written before... We got the DLC, the Trespasser DLC, so it is alternate universe, but I've gotten a lot of people saying that they like my alternate universe, and this sounds a lot like bragging, but if you're interested, if you think that sounds cool, definitely go check it out. It stars a Kunari female, and it's not all about romance and sexy times, so definitely go check it out. As far as other books, none of them have been published yet, you know, we'll just have to wait and see. What is a book that you wish that you wrote? Ha! Huh? Harry Potter, because then I could be rich and famous and awesome. No, but really, I don't want to have written Harry Potter precisely, but I would like to have written a book that for whatever reason just like put its thumb right on the pulse of all of the kids and got a bunch of people reading and got people interested again because Harry Potter is not the most original thing under the sun but something about it just made it really hit people and that's what I want to write. Is this a young author or an author tag for you? Again, just an author tag. 
I'm no longer young. I always thought when I was younger that I would be published by now, I'd be well known by now, I would be a household name by now. But then, you know, reality. And you understand that being an author is incredibly hard. And finally, a bit of a strange question, what are the themes slash colors of your book? Cover, maybe? I don't know, I don't really associate my book with a certain color. I mean, obviously, Phoenix, red, black and red, I guess I would say. And as for Diary of a Demon, I would guess it would be blue, because Anders gets turned into a blue demon, and he's blue the uh, majority of the book. So, blue for that one. And there you go, that is the Young Author Tag. I hope you enjoyed it, and my pineapple corset. I'm very enthusiastic today, probably because this corset is actually really comfortable, except to sit in. I will see you all again in a few minutes for me and a little while for you as I do one more writer tag.